Hey guys, this is Trey, back to another video. And today, I'm gonna show you how to paint out this bag of gold painter I got from Amazon. And I'll talk to you more about that now. All right, so you can see this is the bag of painter I got. I got this from Amazon, like I said. And I got this specific bag because I really wanna try and find more pickers and or like mini nuggets. So that's why I got this bag. And it also should have about a quarter gram and you should always look for guaranteed gold in the description. And I'm pretty sure this is guaranteed a quarter gram. So I'm gonna go ahead, take the bag open, and I just have this mesh normal kitchen strainer. And I'm gonna classify that. So I have minus kitchen strainer and then plus kitchen strainer. And then from both of those, I'm going to take this magnet and then put it in there and put the magnetics in here so it's easier to pan. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sift it out. Like I said, I ripped it open, and I'm just going to pour it all in here. I believe this is about a pound. It didn't say, and I didn't measure it. So you also want to make sure, see there's some other stuff. I'm going to make sure I get everything out of there. Then I'm just going to sift this all out. And I was reading some of the reviews, and they said you could actually see some of the pickers like in this plus kitchen strainer. So I'm just probably gonna look through it real quick. I don't see anything right now, but that's fine. I'm gonna strain it out a little bit more and then I'll get back to you once I'm done with that. All right, so I was just digging through it a little bit and I don't know if you could tell, you could see some gold right there and there's a whole bunch of pieces everywhere else. And then I did just find this really nice picker. This is awesome. I love big gold. I'm not a fan of like the smaller flower gold so this is awesome it's a nice picker i'll weigh it up at the end so i'm gonna go ahead and then dump this in another pan all right so i have them separated and you can see i was looking through this right there you can see that is a piece of gold and it seems like there's actually there's another piece right there there seems so far to be a lot of gold in this even in the plus kitchen strainer i've just been doing this a little bit and then i can't see any right there but there's been a whole bunch of gold in here. So I'm very excited to pan it out. Now what I'm gonna do is take my magnet, cause this did say that there's a lot of black sands. So I'm just gonna do this. You can see some of the magnetics, do that. And then I'm gonna put it in that pan over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the magnetic separated. All right, so here are the three classifications. Plus kitchen strainer, minus kitchen strainer, and then here is just everything that's magnetic. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this pan because this probably won't have any gold in it. All right, so thankfully nothing got mixed in with the magnetics. I'm going to go pan a little bit. This is probably half or a third of what the small minus kitchen strainer is. So I'm going to go ahead and pan this out. All right, so from that pan, I got there's one piece. And there's two other pieces right up there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the snuffer bottle and get those pieces out. So I ended up getting four pieces out of that. And now I'm going to do another pan. All right. So in this pan, you can see I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's probably 15 or 16 flakes in this piece. And some of them are pretty big and chunky. So that's awesome. This is a lot better than I was expecting. I mean, I saw so much gold in the plus kitchen strainer too, and I still have more minus kitchen strainer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the snuffer bottle. All right, so in this pan, you can see, I got another probably 20 to 25 pieces. So I don't know if I hit the jackpot in this, cause it said there you can get like a jackpot with two or three times the amount of gold, because this is a lot of gold, to me at least. And I don't think the other reviews said this amount of gold. So this is amazing. I can't believe all this. It's so cool to pan this out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the snuffer bottle. All right, so now for the fun stuff and the big stuff. I'm going to go ahead and pan this out. And I already think there's going to be a lot. This is all the big stuff because I've seen a lot of pieces. So I can't wait to pan this out. Actually, even before I could pan it, you can see there's a nice piece down there. And right there. So there's so much gold in here. All right. So you can see the gold all up there. And these are more like bigger flakes. They're not pickers besides the one I found in the beginning, which is awesome. I still got one big picker. So now I'm going to go again and get this in the 
snuffer bottle, and then I'm going to all put it together and clean it all up. All right, so that's all the gold besides that big picker. I'm going to go ahead, get this all dried up, and weigh it up. All right, so I have all the gold in this little envelope. I'm going to first weigh this picker. You can see the scale is all zeroed out. That's 0.173. So that's pretty awesome. That's almost a fifth of a gram. Just that thing alone. So that's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to take this and carefully dump the rest of the gold I found in there. Don't want to lose any, so I'm trying to be very gentle. And... That's about it. Yep, there's nothing else there. So you can see 0.35 grams. And I'll pop up on the screen right now how much money that is if this is 24 karat. So that's pretty awesome because it said at least 0.25 grams. So that's awesome. We got 0.1 over that. So that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.